How do you feel about failure? Can you remember a time that you failed horribly at something? And what emotions it brought up for you? Maybe there was sadness, shame, dejection, rejection. Maybe there was even some self-loathing hanging around in there. Frustration, perhaps. Well, I'm Gabby. And in today's video, we are going to talk to you about failing your way to success. It's so easy to wallow in any of the myriad of emotions that come along with making a mistake or feeling like you failed at something. But did you know that you can actually harness the power of your failures to raise your vibration? I recently heard a quote that said something like, in every struggle lies the seed of success. And that reminded me of a children's book that I read where a child is trying desperately to create something, a machine of some kind. And they created it and it didn't work. And then they went further down the sidewalk and got more supplies and created it again. It didn't work. And then pretty soon there's a whole string <laughs> of failed creations all along the sidewalk and eventually the child got frustrated and just like oh, it's not working and as they sat there in that moment on the cusp of just giving up because they had failed so many times they looked around at all of the failures <laughs> that were lying there on the sidewalk and started to notice that there were pieces of each one that did in fact work. And so they walked back through their graveyard of failed attempts and just plucked off and collected all of the pieces that had in fact worked to build this creation at the end that was even better than what they had imagined they were going to create from the beginning. So how does this translate? into success and a higher vibration. Well, it's all in your mindset. You can make the choice right now to radically accept your failures without attaching your self-worth to them. This means allowing whatever feeling is triggered to arise without judgment, without attaching to it or judging yourself for feeling that way. And then bringing love and healing to that place using the number one ascension tool, the mirror exercise, taught by twin flame gurus Jeff and Shalia and their book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, so that you can then move forward towards your goal from that healed place of love and peace and clarity, having gained all of the knowledge and wisdom of all of your perceived failures along the way 